Hello, this is Face Palmer here with Slogan Studios, uh, doing my Let's Play of Teddy Boy. Um, I've been waiting to do this one for a while. It took me a while to find a good uh, Sega Master System uh, emulator to do it on. This was like my favorite, this is one of my favorite vintage video games right here. Teddy Boy. I gotta say, I'm uh, better on it on the Sega Master System, but I can play it on PC. <laughs> Actually, I'm not too shabby at PC, but way better at Sega Master System. It's like all I ever played at my grandparents when I'd go there, because, you know, they had, like, a Sega Master System, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. So, you know. Man. <laughs> yeah. Always so lucky that you run the exact same speed as the Caterpillar. Anyway, most of you guys probably don't know this game, but it's actually surprisingly fun. Um, goal of each level is to collect, kill all of the enemies and collect their little miniature forms. And this is actually a, a really well-made game for like a Sega system because the levels, they just like, it's almost like Portal, you can like fall through all the levels. This would be a bonus level. So on these, you want to go for the dragons and the blue shoes. And if you run into one of those snails, then you only get like 120 points, which is shitty. Mine of the ninja. There you go. Now, I don't know if I'm calling these enemies the correct term, like we call these little munchy things something, and I call the blue things ninjas, and it's all different teddy boy terms, but whatever. Now, this, there's two strategies you can do this level. There's a safe way, but the safe way doesn't always work, god, and then there's the fast way. Now, I was just trying to do the fast way, but it's not safe, because these little Freaking choppy things always get into your hut. Ah, oh, but and they move faster than you can. Yeah, the choppy things always get into your smiley face. Man, that could have sounded really weird out of context. <laughs> context. Wow, that's weird. I had some trouble saying that word. Oh my god. That was actually kind of dumb. And in this game, it's surprisingly hard to land on one block, so... Ah! Really? Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, landing on one block is kind of an art. Oh yeah, extra guy! You get that at 10,000 points, and then... Uh, 100,000 points, sorry, and then I forget when you get your next one. Right. Yeah, that was pretty slick. Yep. Okay, I learned the other day that if you collect ones in succession, you actually get more points, so. Let's get a little bit of Yeah, that's the worst thing about these little freaking gelatin things is that they fall. So if you're like trying to hunt one, it falls on you, it's really annoying. <sighs> Thought I was gone for. That was that was actually pretty crazy. Some of these calls in Teddy Boy, I swear, they're close. Oh, level 5. I have like a distinct strategy for each level, as you can see. My 8 year old brain's kicking in, it, and it's like, and it's like, go here, jump here, blah blah blah. Pretty cool, actually. Ah, oh, it's because that, that one block got disintegrated and it wasn't supposed to, and so the caterpillar didn't jump where I was expecting it to. So the whole strategy was ruined. Damn it. See, that's what was supposed to happen. Oh yeah. Picking up the snails. Mm -hmm. 
Level Oh, I hate this level. Okay, for one, the background's like magenta. Actually, it's more of like a mauve or something. And two, those little choppy things, they always get me. Like, right off the bat, because, like, there's no closed space for them to be in, like, they're, like, on the third level. Heh, <laughs> that funny point when you were in, like, grade six and you were god if you could get to level six. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> my foot, like, scraped his head. At a Kickin' Ninja 101 by Face Bomb. Mm. There we go. And uh, this last caterpillar is always not that hard to get, but sometimes he can kill you if you're not careful. But yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't go. A bit. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but if you stand in one place for too long, the floor, floor disintegrates around you. Yeah, so that's never fun. Yeah. Nice. I got a couple blue shoes. See, the next one isn't that 200,000 points. I don't know why. It's at like, I don't know. Because I think I've gotten an extra second man before, but I can't remember. Yeah. Don't like this level either. The ninjas right here, they just. They fall way too quickly. So you're like. They just change direction so randomly. It's. Actually, kind of annoying. That was the dumbest way I could have played that. Like, usually you can just open that hole and just slaughter them all. Oh, I let them sneak up on me. Those are like, I call those the dodos. I have no idea why. They look like peaches with. They look like mutant peaches, kind of, sort of. See, and I played that dumb again. I waited till I, like, shot it open when he was pushed up against the cement block. Which is, once more, the dumbest way I could have handled that. There we go. Ugh. See how they just, can't, the level just kind of repeats itself. It's like, if you fall through the spot, bottom, you spawn at the top. It's, it's actually pretty cool for a Sega system. Like, he high. I don't know how they did this. It's pretty impressive. Best way to handle this level is camp in on these little spots here. Take out that caterpillar. That's the first thing you want to do because that caterpillar is a nuisance. Oh my god. That was... that was bad. Yeah! Oh! I have to restart. Alright. There's a way that you can kind of like cheat a little bit. Well, not really cheating, but you just continue what you were doing. <laughs> Maybe I can get double D into this game enough. We'll play some multiplayer. Oh, that's how you clear out that first level. Like a boss. See that? I'm almost. I'm only like fourth. 40,000 points away from an extra man now. Like a boss. <laughs> and the snails, you gotta shoot them in their little pathetic eyes. <laughs> See, you kinda, I kind of shot him in the eye there. Like, right there, especially. I guess he couldn't see how I shot him in the eye. Ah, but that was that was actually pretty lucky. I. Some people would say fluky. So would I. <laughs> yeah. <that> was, <laughs> wow. Oh my god, get back here. I want a good time bonus. Yeah, if that time bar at the bottom gets empty, then you die, which is sucky. Because I've had that happen to me before on level 3, because level 3 is bullshit. Oh, two dragons, that's just about enough to get me an extra guy. That actually might be enough. Oh yeah, it is. 
Oh yeah, four guys. Now that's I've had five guys before. It's like the most amazing experience you could ever feel. I mean, five guys on Teddy Boy. Kind of sad actually. How that's like the best thing I've ever seen. But you know, I digress. Uh, super quick, dangerous way. Because usually, see what I did when I was eight is I do it the safe way, which was you sit on this pole. And you let the floor disintegrate from underneath you, right? Oh my god. But now I tend to take the risk and do this. So you like sit right here and you let this disintegrate. Like that. And then you kind of just sit, stand on that bottom platform and shoot through that, what you just disintegrated. It works pretty well, but you have to kind of wait for them to fall for you to shoot at them. Okay, so, oh my god. What the hell just happened there? Like locked up. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, because usually I can clean out level 4 like nobody's business. Level 4 is like one of the easiest... The strategy in it is just like you keep going up. Sometimes like, one jello escapes! Ah, oh, second! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, teddy boy rage! Come on, you damn caterpillar. Oh, so much Teddy Boy Rage right now. Two lives to le not one life, but two lives to level four. Oh my god. Huh. Do you think Teddy Boy is Jewish? Look at his hat, though. It's kind of like a Jewish hat. Not to be, like, racist or anything, but just saying. See, that's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> Hate this level, because all those snails at the top just make me nervous. There we go. Pew! Oh my god. It's insane. Level ah, oh, not level six. So you gotta face these trappy things right at the beginning. Like, why would they do something like this? Those teddy boy reflexes, though. See how it just disappeared from under me? Yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, that was so dumb. Oh my god. Why am I such an idiot? Teddy boy, why? Why? Dad, there we go. Yeah, yeah. There's no. I have like no real strategy for level six. Just kind of like half strategy. And the dodos are about to spawn. <laughs> yeah, because the spawning in this game is really simple. Every time you pick up a little miniature thingamajig, something else will get, is going to spawn. If you can understand the spawning, you can plan when new things are going to spawn. Which is the best way to play this game. And not lose two of your lives on level 4. That is also a good strategy. You're kidding me, I got all like all time suckers right there. Like right off the start. It's not cool. I only have like a minute left. But Teddy Boy's so awesome. Damn. And I'll probably lose it to this level. Unless I play it like Uber Smart, but you know me. But you know me. See, that's how you play it. See, and you just kind of slaughter them all. And then you get so many points because you just collected like them all in one go. Oh, what the? How did that even happen? Okay, I'm confused here. 
And